Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about logarithmic equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, log of 5x equals log of 2x plus 9, and we need to solve the equation. Well, one thing here, we know we're taking the log, this is log base 10, of two different expressions. Well, when we have that, the same base, what we can do is set the inside part equal to each other. So we don't have to really worry about the log since they're the same base here. So we can set 5x equal to 2x plus 9, and this becomes a much simpler problem. I subtract 2x to both sides. 5x minus 2x is a 3x and that's equal to a positive 9. Divide both sides by 3, and we have our answer here, x equals 9 over 3, which is 3. And so my final answer here is just x equals 3. We're given this problem right here, log of 10 minus 4x equals log of 10 minus 3x, and we need to solve this equation. Notice we have the log with the same base here of two different little expressions, but the same base being 10. When that happens, we can take this inside part, and actually we can set them equal to each other. So we have the 10 minus 4x equals a 10 minus 3x, and now we're just solving for x. I add a 4x to both sides, not too bad, and I'll subtract a 10 to both sides. Minus 4x plus 4x cancel each other out at 0. And 10 minus 10 is also 0. This 10 minus 10 is 0. And negative 3x plus 4x is just a 1x. And so my final answer here is just x equals 0. We're given this problem right here. Log of 4p minus 2 is equal to log of negative 5p plus 5. And we need to solve this equation. Well, what I need to do here is I first see our log here and log here. They both have the same base, right? Base of 10. When that happens, we can just take the inside part of each one and set it equal to each other. So we have a 4p minus 2 is equal to the negative 5p plus 5. Now this is so much easier to solve. I add a 5p to both sides, and I add a 2 as well. What does that give us? 4p plus 5p is a 9p. The 2's cancel, and these 5p's cancel. 5 plus a 2 is a 7. I divide both sides by 9, and I have p by itself. I'll put right here. p equals 7 over 9, and that is our final answer. We're given this problem right here. Log of 4k minus 5 <laughs> equals log of 2k minus 1. And we have to solve the equation. Now we have the log of both sides and they both have the same base of 10. When that happens we can set the insides equal to each other. So we can set 4k minus 5 equal to the 2k minus 1 and now we just solve for k. Let's bring our like terms together. So we subtracted 2k to both sides and I'm going to add a 5 to both sides as well. These 5's cancel and these 2k's will cancel. We're left with 4k minus a 2k, which is a 2k. Negative 1 plus 5 is a 4. Divide both sides by 2. And we have k equals 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And so my final answer here is k equals 2. We're given this problem right here. The log of negative 2a plus 9 is equal to the log of 7 minus 4a. And we have to solve this equation. Since these logs have the same base, we can now look at the inside parts and we just can set them each equal to each other. Negative 2a plus 9 equals a 7 minus 4a. Much easier to solve. I add a 4a to both sides as we combine our like terms. And I'll subtract a 9 to both sides as well. These 4a's will cancel. These 9's will cancel. Negative 2a plus 4a is a 2a. 7 minus a 9 is a negative 2. I divide both sides by, not a, by a 2. Be careful there. <laughs> and we're left with an a on the left-hand side, and negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative 1. And so our final answer here is just a equals a negative 1. 
We're given this problem right here. 2 log base 7 of a negative 2r equals 0. And we need to solve this. Well, the first thing I need to do, let's, get, let's divide both sides by 2. And in doing so, these 2's cancel. We still have log base 7 of a negative 2r. And that's equal to 0 over 2, which is, well, a 0. And then when we get here, we have to use our little formula here. Our x value is the 0, our base is 7, and a is negative 2r. We can rewrite that to be this top part. So our base being 7, we can say, okay, 7 to the x value, which we say here is 0, and it lines up. So 7 to the 0 is equal to this inside part, which is negative 2r. Okay? From there, 7 to the 0 power is just a 1 equals negative 2r, divide both sides by a negative 2, and I put r here, all right, cancels out, boom, boom, r equals a negative 1 half. And so our final answer here is r equals a negative 1 half. We're given this problem right here, negative 10 plus log base 3 of n plus 3 equals a negative 10, and we have to solve this equation. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get this log by itself. So I'm going to add a 10 to both sides. In doing so, we just have log base 3 of this n plus 3 here. And that's equal to negative 10 plus 10, which is a 0. From here, we can see we can use our little formula. Okay, Our base here is 3. So this log of base 3 of n plus 3 equals 0 can be written as base 3 to the x power here, which is going to be that 0, is equal to what's inside the logarithm, that a value, the n plus 3. And this actually isn't too bad to solve now. We have 3 to the 0 power, which is a 1, and we have n plus 3 here. From there, we subtract a 3 to both sides, and what do we have? We have n by itself, and 1 minus 3 is a negative 2. I kind of flipped it around for you. But either way, our final answer here is n equals a negative 2. We're given this problem right here. Negative 2 log base 5 of 7x equals 2, and we have to solve this equation. Well, first thing I want to do here is I'm going to take this negative 2 that's being multiplied, and I'm going to divide both sides by that negative 2. We want to get the log by itself. This cancels, and we have a log base 5 of 7x left over. And 2 divided by negative 2, negative 1. From here, we have to use our formula. All right, let's try to convert where we can. It's going to be tricky with the x's, so be careful where they are. Our base, b, is 5. So we're going to have, this will convert to a 5 to the exponent of what's on the outside. Uh, sorry, the exponent, which is, yeah, outside of this equal sign here, which is a negative 1 power, is equal to what's inside the logarithm, that a which is a 7x here. Just be careful with the x's when they have it here. It doesn't mean they're the same. Then from here, we can now solve. 5 to the negative 1 power is a 1 fifth is equal to 7x. If I'm going to bring the 7 over to the other side, I can multiply both sides by a 1 seventh. These cancel. We're left with x here. And we multiply 1 seventh times a 1 fifth. And 7 times 5 is 35. So we have 1 over 35. And so our final answer is x equals 1 over 35. We're given this problem right here. Log of negative m plus 2 equals 4, and we have to solve it. Now be careful, this is the log of just the negative m, not the plus 2. So we want to get our log by itself. I subtract a 2 to both sides, and I have a log of negative m equals 4 minus 2, positive 2. Now this is a log base 10, and we don't write that when that happens, but we can see that right here, log base 10. Where do we go from there? We're going to have to use our little formula here, okay? Our base is a 10, so that's going to be that b value. So we have 10 here. We can convert it to the x is what this is right here, that 2, is equal to our a value, what's inside the logarithm, which is a negative m. Not too bad. 10 squared is 100 equals a negative m, divide both sides by a negative 1, and we have a negative 100 equals m here. So to rewrite it out, 
our final answer here is just m equals a negative 100. We're given this problem right here, negative 6 times log base 3 of x minus 3 equals a negative tor of 24, and we have to solve this equation. Well, I want to get my log by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 6. We now have a log base 3 of an x minus 3, and negative 24 divided by a negative 6 is a positive 4. We now have a setup similar to this. We want to use that to convert that into what we have up top using our formula. Okay, So we'll start with our base here being 3. So this converts to 3 to the exponent of what's on the outside, what's equal to, which is that 4. And that's going to be equal to what's inside the logarithm, which is x minus 3. Now we need to solve for x. 3 to the fourth power is an 81, and that's equal to x minus 3. Add a 3 to both sides, and it's pretty easy. 81 plus 3 is an 84. So our final answer here is just x equals an 84. We're given this problem right here, log base 12 of v squared plus 35 is equal to log base 12 of a negative 12v minus 1. We need to solve this equation. Our logs have the same base here of 12. When that happens, and it's the only thing on each side of the equation, we can set the insides equal to each other. So we set a v squared plus 35 is equal to a negative 12v minus 1. Now we want to solve this equation. I want to bring all my like terms to the left hand side, or all the terms to the left hand sides to solve this. I'm going to add a 12v to both sides, put it right here, 12v, and then add a 1 as well. What do we get? v squared is the only thing there, and then we have, or only variable squared, and we have a 12v here, and 35 plus 1 is a 36. And that's equal to 0 because everything canceled out on the right hand side. This actually factors pretty easily. Use our factored form. What two numbers multiply to be 36, but add to be 12, and that's a 6 and a 6. When we set each one of these equal to 0 to solve, what do we get? We subtract a 6 to both sides for both of them, and the same answer actually occurs. v equals negative 6, and v equals a negative 6. But we don't need to write that answer twice, we just need to write it one time. And so our final answer here is just pretty simple, as v equals a negative 6. We're given this problem right here. Log base 9 of a negative 11x plus 2 is equal to log base 9 of x squared plus 30, and we need to solve this equation. Well, since these are both logs with the same base, and that's the only thing on each side, we can take the inside parts and set them equal to each other. Negative 11x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus 30. And now we're just solving for x. Let's bring everything to the right-hand side. Add 11x to both sides. And subtract 2. What do we have? Left-hand side just becomes 0. Right-hand side is an x squared plus 11x. And 30 minus 2 is a 28. Well, this looks like we can factor it. So 0 equals, instead of our form here, what two numbers multiply to be 28, but add to be 11, and that's a 7 and a 4. So now, since it's factored, we can set each part individually equal to 0. x plus 7, a better x than that, and x plus 4, but it's equal to 0. We solve, subtract an x to both, our 7 to both sides, and x equals negative 7, and do the same thing with the 4 and x equals a negative 4. And so my two solutions here are negative 7 and a negative 4, and that is my final answer. We're given this problem right here. Log of 16 plus 2b equals log of b squared minus 4b, and we need to solve this equation. Well, these logs have the same base, which is 10. And when that happens, and they're both equal to each other with nothing else there, we can take the insides and set them equal to each other. So we have a 16 plus a 2b here equals a b squared minus a 4b. Now let's go combine like terms and let's bring everything to the right hand side and solve for b. 
I subtracted 2b to both sides here. And I'm going to subtract a 16 as well. 16s cancel and the 2b's cancel here, leaving us equal to 0. b squared comes down, and negative 4b minus a 2b is a negative 6b, and a minus 16 comes down right here. Now this can factor, so let's set it up in our form. And what two numbers multiply to be negative 16, but add to be negative 6? And that's a positive 2 and a negative 8. When we have that, we can set now each part individually equal to 0 to solve for b. So b plus 2 equals 0, and b minus 8 equals 0. Subtract the 2 to both sides, and b equals a negative 2. Add an 8 to both sides, and b equals a positive 8. And so my final answer here is just b equals a negative 2 and a positive 8. We're given this problem right here. The natural log of n squared plus 12 equals the natural log of negative 9n minus 2, and we need to solve this equation. Now we know the natural log is just a log base e here, but we have the same thing on both sides, and they're both equal to each other, and there's nothing else added. What we can do there is take the inside of each natural log and set it equal to each other. n squared plus 12 now is equal to a negative 9n minus 2. I like to bring everything to one side all right, and combine my like terms. So I'm going to add a 9n to both sides, and I'm going to add a 2 as well. We want it equal to 0. The right-hand side cancels. The left-hand side, well, nothing combines with the n squared. Nothing combines with the 9n. The 12 plus 2 is a 14, and that's equal to 0. Well, this can factor now, so we write our factored form. And what two numbers multiply to be 14, but add to be a, a 9, and that's a 2 and a 7. So we can set each part now individually equal to 0. So we've got n plus 2 equals 0, and n plus 7 equals 0, and we solve. Subtract a 2 to both sides, n equals a negative 2. Subtract a 7 to both sides, n equals a negative 7. Oops, not an m. <laughs> N. So my final answer here is n equals a negative 2 and a negative 7. We're given this problem right here. Log of x plus log of 8 is equal to 2, and we need to solve this. Well, right now we have the same base of 10, not really given to us, but we can use a formula here. We know the log of m plus the log of n is equal to the log of m times n. So we set this to be log of x times 8, or 8 times x, and that's equal to 2. From there, we can now convert that using our upper little formula right there. Okay? Our base here is 10, like I said. So now we have, in this form, we move it to this form. Our base is 10. It's raised to the, uh, what we're taking the, the x value, it's equal to, which is 2 here. And that's going to be equal to our a value, which is inside the logarithm, which is 8x. Well, 10 squared is 100, so 100 equals an 8x. Divide both sides by 8. 100 divided by 8 simplifies to be 25 over 2. Divide both of them by 4. And so x equals a 25 over 2. And that is my final answer. We're given this problem right here. Log of x minus log of 2 equals 1, and we need to solve it. Now these logs have the same base of 10. Our formula here, the second part down here, says if we have a log of m minus log of n, it's equal to log of m divided by n. And we have that here, we can adapt that. So it's subtracting, so we can say the log now, we can combine this, of x minus log of 2 is log of x divided by 2. And that's equal to 1. From there, what I said was this is a log base 10. When it's not written, it's going to be a 10. We now use our formula here. Our base, 10, our b value, is going to be raised, or we have a power raised right there of what it's equal to, and that's just the 1. And that's equal to what's in the inside of the logarithm, the a value, which is an x over 2. Well, 10 to the first power is 10. It's fine. We multiply both sides by 2, and 10 times 2 is a 20. And that's just equal to our x. And so x equals 20 is my final answer. We're given this problem right here. 
log of 2 plus log of x equals 1, and we got to solve this equation. Now, these are log with the same base of 10, and when it's not written, it's just going to be log base 10 there. Now, with that, we can see our formula. They tell us if we have log of m plus log of n, it's equal to log of m times n. So let's go convert that here. Log of 2 plus log of x is the same as log of 2 times x, and that's going to equal 1. Now, what I said, though, before, without anything written, that's going to be a log of base of 10. Okay. We now use our top formula here. We need to convert that to be uh, the upper part. So our base is 10, right? So this is equal to 10 to the power of what it's equal to. In this case, it's that 1. Be careful. And now that whole thing is going to be equal to what's inside the logarithm, which is a 2x. Well, luckily for us, 10 to the first power is just 10. I divide both sides by 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. And so, pretty easily, my final answer here is x equals 5. We're given this problem right here. Log of x plus log of 7 equals log of 37. And we have to solve this equation. Well, our rules here say that if we have a log of x plus log of 7, right, log of m plus log of n, we can combine them with multiplication inside of a logarithm. And it's because they also have the same base. So log now of x and the log of 7, we're adding them, is just log of 7x multiplication. I flipped it around, but it's okay. That's equal to log of 37. Now, our other rule states that if we have a log with the same base equal to a log with another one with the same base, and that's the only thing that's there and it's equal to, we can just set the insides equal to each other. So we can set the 7x equal to 37 and then solve for x. Pretty easy. Divide both sides by 7, and x equals 37 divided by 7. This doesn't simplify anymore, and so that is our final answer. We're given this problem right here. Log base 8 of 2 plus log base 8 of 4x squared is equal to 1, and we got to solve it. We have the same base of log base 8 here, and our rules tell us when we add them together, right, Log the same base, we multiply the insides, we can put it as one big logarithm. So to do that, we have log base 8 of 2 times the 4x squared here. And now that's still going to be equal to 1. Well, 2 times 4 is an 8. So we have log base 8 of an 8x squared, and that's equal to 1. We now use our top formula. We're given this form here, and we can rewrite it into the top part right there. So our base is 8, and it's raised to the power, what it's equal to, so just the first power right there. And that's going to be equal to what we call our a value, which is what's inside the logarithm, which is 8x squared. Well, each of the first power is just 8, and I divide both sides by 8, and I have a, well, 1, right? 8 divided by 8, 1 is equal to x squared. Take the square root of both sides, and when in doing that, we have a plus or minus, don't forget that, square root of 1, which is 1. That's equal to x. And so x equals the two values here of positive 1 and a negative 1. And that is our final answer. We're given this problem right here. Log base 9 of x plus 6 minus log base 9 of x is equal to log base 9 of 2. And we need to solve this equation. Well, our rules tell us we have a log with the same base, and we're subtracting them, right? Log base at, uh, log of m minus log of n is the same as log of m divided by n. So we can take the inside part, that x and the x plus 6, and we can divide them by each other. So we have log here, base 9, of one big inside part, which is an x plus 6, this part, divided by the second part, which is just the x, okay? And that's equal to a log base 9 of 2. Well, we have the same base of 9. So we have log of the same base, and it's equal to each other. We can set the what we're taking the log of now just equal to each other and ignore the logs. So we have an x plus 6 over 2 is equal to a 2. Uh, sorry, x, <laughs> x plus 6 over an x. Oh, if you caught that, let me know down in the comment section. All right. Well, to do that, I'm going to multiply, to solve this, multiply both sides by an x. 
and so I have a x plus 6 equals 2x. Let's combine our like terms. I'm going to subtract an x to both sides, and I have a positive 6 here, and 2x minus 1x is just an x. And so my final answer here is x equals a 6. We're given this problem right here, log base 6 of x plus 1 minus log base 6 of x is equal to log base 6 of 29, and we're going to solve this equation. Our rules tell us when we have logs with the same base and we're subtracting them, we can combine them as one logarithm and divide the insides. So we're going to do that. We're going to take this part right here on the left-hand side, log base 6 now, and we're going to combine these two insides with division, an x plus 1 over an x, okay? And that's equal to a log base 6 of 29. Well, again, we have log base 6 and a log base 6. When that happens, we can take what we're taking a log of, if it's equal to and there's nothing else there, and we can set them equal to each other. x plus 1 over x here is equal to 29. Now we just solve for x. Multiply x to both sides, and x plus 1 now, this cancels, is equal to 29x. Subtract an x to both sides, and we have 1 now is equal to 29 minus 1, which is 28x. Don't forget that. Now we divide both sides by 28, and we have x by itself here. I'll write it as 1 over 28, and that's it. That is our final answer. We're given this problem right here, log base 5 of 6 plus log base 5 of 2x squared is equal to log base 5 of 48, and we need to solve this equation. Well, our rules tell us if we're adding two logarithms to the same base, right, we can combine it to be one logarithm, but multiply what's on the inside there. So let's go do that here. We have log base 5, and multiply this 6 times this 2x squared. And that's still equal to log base 5 of 48. We'll simplify this inside a little bit. Log base 5, 6 times 2x squared is a 12x squared. And again, that's equal to log base 5 of 48. Now our rules also tell us we have the same log base 5 on both sides, and there's nothing else there. So we can take what's on the inside, what we're taking the log of, and just set them equal to each other and ignore the logarithm. So we have a 12, x squared is equal to 48. From there, I can divide both sides by 12 to solve for x. And I have x squared, 12 is canceled, and 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. When I take the square root of both sides to get rid of that squared value, I have x equals plus or minus, remember we take the square root of both sides, plus and minus, and squared 4 is 2. And so my final answer here is x can be a positive 2 or a negative 2. We're given this problem right here. The natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 3x plus 2, and that's equal to 1. And we have to solve this equation. Now this is a special one. It's going to be a little difficult. This is the same. We're going to use this formula right here. We're subtracting a log with the same base. In this case, it's base e. We'll see that in a little bit. And in doing so, we can combine it to be one logarithm, but with division on the inside. So this can become the natural log of 2 divided by the 3x plus 2, and that's going to equal the 1. And remember when I said natural log is equal to log base e? We're going to need that here. So we have the log base e instead of natural log of 2 over 3x plus 2. Now, you won't always have to do this step, but it makes it a little easier to see. From there, we're going to use our top formula. Our base is e. And so we have that b value, e. We're going to raise it to what we're equal to, which is 1, which is nice. And that's going to be equal to what we're taking the logarithm of, our a value, which is that 2 over 3x plus 2. Okay? From there, okay, it's a little tricky. We want to get x by itself, okay? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to multiply the 3x to both sides, a 3x plus 2, to both sides, like so. That cancels, and we're left with, well, e times a 3x plus 2, and that's equal to 2. I'm going to divide both sides by e, as such, and I have 3x plus 2, 
equals 2 over e. Okay, almost there. Let's subtract the 2 to both sides. What do we get? I'm going to put that up here. Let's get some space here. So we have 3x. Uh, ah, I wrote a 2. Getting ahead of myself here. That's all right. Take our time. No need to rush this. 3x is equal to now 2 over e, and that's minus a 2. Okay? Well, I want to combine these, and so if I subtract a 2, I don't have the same base, but if I multiply this by an e over e, I will. So it's like a minus 2 is the same as minus a 2e over e. We now have 3x equals, combine it, 2 minus 2e over 1e right there. We want to get the 3 over to the right hand side, so I'm going to multiply this by a 1 third to both sides. That cancels a 3, x is by itself. We have a 2 minus a 2e still in the numerator, and e times 3 is a, well, a uh, 3e, drawing a blank right there. Okay. Whew. Either way, our final answer here is nothing really more we can do to simplify this as x equals 2 minus 2e over a 3e. We're given this problem right here. The natural log of negative 3x minus 1 minus natural log of 7 is equal to 2, and we need to solve this equation. Well, natural log is log base e, and we have the same ones right here. So in doing so, we can use our formula. Log of m minus log of n can be combined to one logarithm, and we divide the insides. So let's go do that here. Natural log of what well, we have a negative 3x minus 1 divided by that 7 now is equal to 2. And remember what I said, natural log is log base e? Let's see that. Log base e of negative 3x minus 1 over 7, and that's equal to 2. With that, we use our formula here. Let's convert that to the top part. Our base is e here, the b value, and we're raising it to what our logarithm is equal to, which is an x, or here x, which is a 2. And that's going to be equal to what's the inside of the logarithm, the a value. Negative 3x minus 1 over a 7. Well, here we want to get um, <coughs> x by itself. So I'll multiply both sides by a 7 here, and I have a 7. e squared is equal to negative 3x minus 1. And add a 1 to both sides, and I have a 7. e squared equals negative 3x. I'm going to finish that up here. So to rewrite that, 7e squared is equal to negative 3x. I want to divide both sides now by, I'm oh, sorry, e squared plus 1. Oof, I almost forgot that when I brought it up there. See, got to be careful. Let's take our time there, plus 1 down here. Divide both sides by a negative 3. Well, that's equal to our x, and we have a 7e squared plus 1 over a negative 3. I like to have the negative written in the numerator, so I'm going to take this positive, make that positive, and multiply the whole numerator by a negative 1. Let's flip it around, but x first. Negative in front, so negative 7e squared. It gets distributed to the both sides, both parts, so we have minus 1. Now instead of a positive 1, that's over a positive 3. And so now our final answer here is x equals negative 7e squared minus 1 over 3. We're given this problem right here. The natural log of x minus 3 minus natural log of x minus 5 is equal to natural log of 5, and we have to solve this equation. Notice here we have our second part. We're subtracting two logs with the same base, and natural log is a log base e. We can combine that to be one logarithm, and we divide the insides. So let's go do that. Natural log, I take the x minus 3 over that x minus 5. And that's equal to natural log of 5 right there. Again, now we have natural log and natural log. They're equal to each other, and there's nothing else really there. When that happens, we can set the insides equal to each other. So we have an x minus 3 here over x minus 5 is equal to just a 5. Not too bad. I'm going to multiply x minus 5 to both sides, like so. This cancels, and we have an x minus 3 equals, distribute that, 5x minus a 25. Now, let's go combine our like terms together. I'm going to subtract an x to both sides and add a 25. Remember, we're solving for x. Negative 3 plus 25 is a 22. 
and that's equal to uh, 5x minus x, which is a 4x. From there, divide both sides by 4, and 22 over 4 simplifies to be 11 over 2, that's equal to x. And so my final answer is x equals 11 over 2. We're given this problem right here. Natural log of 4x plus 1 minus natural log of 3, that's equal to 5, and we get to solve this equation. Well, remember, natural log is the same as a log base e. So we have that here, and we're subtracting it, okay? And our formula says we can combine it to be one logarithm, we just divide the insides. So we can rewrite this to be natural log of 4x plus 1 over that 3, and that's equal to 5. Now remember when I said natural log is log base e. So log base e of a 4x plus 1 over 3, and that's equal to 5. From there, we're going to use this formula. Our base is our e value right here. All right, we're going to convert it to up top, and we're raising it to what our logarithm is equal to, the fifth power. And that's going to be equal to what's on the inside, the a value, 4x plus 1 over 3. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, and we're left with 3e to the fifth power equals 4x plus 1. I'm going to rewrite that up here, all right, to give me some space, and I'm going to flip it around. 4x plus 1 first is equal to 3e to the fifth power, just a little easier to see. Subtract a 1 to both sides, and I have a 4x now is equal to 3e to the fifth power minus 1. Divide both sides by 4 x is now by itself, which is our goal, and that's equal to 3e to the fifth power minus 1 over 4, and that is it. That is our final answer. Hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.